I mean, what time is it? I don't have a watch. What's your favorite restaurant? What do you like to eat? Where are you from? Are you guys learning anything? No. Is that pure sarcasm? <laughs> are you going to answer one of the questions or not? I don't know. Okay. Do I have to? No, I don't have to. You don't have to? Uh-uh. And now you're twitching your hair like, like you're thinking Because you're something. a psycho. I know it's a little random, but I thought you were attractive and I wanted to come say hi to you. Thank you. Uh-huh. I'm Chris. Claudia. Nice to meet you, Claudia. Come here. <laughs> One, two, uh, three, four, five, oh, six, okay. seven. No, no, no. Eight, okay. eight, <laughs> nine, ten. Whoa, you're hugging me back. <laughs> I'm very forward, aren't I? Really? You know forward? Oh. Like, I, I say, I'm very forward with you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is it too soon to kiss? Mm -hmm. Is it too soon to kiss each other? Yes. Because we don't know each other. I'm very persistent, aren't I? I have to go. First of all, these things, these workshops, these get-togethers, they happen in things called lairs, which I think is another word for a dingy apartment. That, at least that's what this place was. It was a dingy studio, uh, white walls, video game consoles everywhere, big screen TV, black overstuffed couch, empty Grey Goose bottles as decoration. Something that really blew me away was just how normal these guys looked. There was about 40 dudes, uh, anywhere between 20 and 35 years old, and they just looked like normal guys. And so they turned to dudes like this guy, this douchebag galore, was the mentor of mentors, was a pickup artist slash dating coach, which makes actual dating coaches look bad uh, because what he's doing isn't dating, more like he should be called like a manipulation coach. On the outside, it doesn't look like anyone's about to storm the doors. The reason I came here is because the percentage of English men who read me is very large. And to, that is a weird thing because I'm not from, from here. But the problem is men are not allowed to speak the views that I am, am speaking. It takes an outsider to come here and not be afraid of the hate crime laws that you guys have. Something has happened in the past 50 years where women are no longer trained to submit to a man, to serve a man. The very idea of beauty and aesthetics is being demolished to where now women are being applauded and encouraged to look like fat outer space cyborgs. Women and gays are seen as superior to straight men. Anything that a woman or a gay person wants is theirs. But anything you want, sorry, we cannot help you. What is an incel? It's involuntarily celibate. Um, it's just something you are. Incels believe in a strange cosmology where a male archetype named Chad talks to women with ease and is rewarded with sex. Incels define themselves in opposition to this as too ugly or awkward and resent women for falling for the chads of the world. In this subculture, people bond over self-loathing. <laughs> Joy says it's therapeutic, but four of his friends have killed themselves. Most of the world was introduced to incels when Elliot Roger killed six people at UC Santa Barbara in 2014. Police didn't have to search long to learn what motivated a 22-year-old gunman to kill six people and injure seven others. Before doing so, he posted a 141-page manifesto, mostly blaming women for not having sex with him. 